Hi guys, it's Logan here from The Four Balances. I'm teaching you a balance between these four things in your life, your relationships, your health, your hobbies, and your finances. I'm here with my good friend Marina Perry. Um, Marina is the founder of uh, Lean Mama System, which helps you to um, post-pregnancy to get back into shape and stay in shape and remain healthy and strong and um, be a better person. Yeah, thanks for having me. So tell us a little bit about Lean Mama and how it got started. Um, well, it's kind of a funny story in the way that I think many businesses start just as a result of what you personally need or what you see uh, like, a, like a hole for. And Lean Mama kind of spawned off of Lean Mom to Be, which is actually a product I developed for pregnancy. Because what I realized when I was pregnant myself um, is that a lot of women just didn't know what to do in pregnancy. They had no idea what was appropriate, what was inappropriate, so they did nothing. Um, and even though I had taught pre and postnatal Pilates for probably eight years before having my own kids, it was only when I had my own children that I experienced firsthand the massive amount of miseducation. So I created a series of DVDs for pregnancy and then um, I kind of felt like I'd solved the world's problems around pregnancy. <laughs> but um, after people started having babies and then coming back into the center, that was when I realized that they were even less educated around the critical factors that affect a woman's body post-baby. So, um, you know, case in point is that I saw clients like lying down on the floor and doing sit-up after sit-up to try and move like a pot belly, which, you know, is really just a uterus having to recontract after pregnancy in an attempt to shift that. But if you're unaware of the anatomy changes that have occurred in pregnancy, then, then doing the sit-ups is actually the worst thing you could do and it'll actually take your core and widen and worsen what we call a diastasis a separation of the abdominals, which is why many women will lose weight post-baby but still have like a pot belly right at their belly button. Right. So I kind of then got on a mission that I was like, well, you know, women need to know what to do and not what not to do. So the Lean Mama system was really me helping these clients in the studio initially. I didn't have time to train them one-on-one, -on -one, um, so I kind of collectively put them in a group and we started the Lean Mama training in groups, which is really now the business model around our franchises. Right. And then the book and the DVDs and even the online website really just educate women about how to progressively and appropriately rebuild their body from the inside out. It also teaches them how to eat appropriately for good nutrition, for plenty of energy, and for ultimate wellness. Um, and then, of course, there's a lot of mindset stuff because that's what I do. Um, so we address the facts that for lots of mums, we lose the identity. When we become mums, we forget who we are as a person. We start to be the wife, the mother, you know, the whatever, the roles, the hats that we put on. Um, and so Lean Mama is a lot about finding yourself in that mix and therefore being able to enjoy all of the blessings that come with motherhood because there are many but there's also a lot of obligation and sometimes there's a lot of guilt right right i um i also personally read your book i know i, I love that it. you read that it was a fantastic book one of the key distinctions that i really loved was the fit mind you talked about fit yes mind yes um that was that was and, and you, you could, it really drummed in the importance of remaining that fit mind you know, for the rest of your life, in fact, after pregnancy. Yeah, so that, I'm glad you brought that up because that's a that's a really big thing for me, and it's it is a it is a cool distinction in the book. So for your listeners or your you know your followers, I suppose, um, and that's something that's relevant that I noticed and I've taught um, in my health clubs for years and years prior to um, the Lean Mama system. But I bring it up there because it's relevant. So what we talk about in the book is the fact that everyone has a fit mind and everyone has a fat mind, and you can kind of if you want to visualize this as like the angel and the demon, that's fine. Um, but it's it's the the analogy is you know if you set an intention that you're gonna start a health kick and you're like I'm gonna run every day, and then the morning comes and it's cold and your fat mind is that voice that kicks in and says oh it's too cold oh it's you know it's comfy in bed do it tomorrow like the one who tries to convince you to stay where you are if that's not essentially very productive. Whereas your fit mind is the mind that's going to be like, no, you made a promise to yourself, come on, you can do it, it'll be great once you get up. And the irony or what I have found that people think is that some people, people who are struggling with their health and wellness tend to think that people don't have a fat mind, that people who are doing you know, well in their health and wellness just have a fit mind, but everybody has both. Like even the elite of the elite athletes has that little voice that will sometimes pipe up. And what we talk about and what we teach in the Lean Mama system is really creating a lean mindset, which is where your fit mind is just stronger, more vocal, more exercised, if you will, than your fat mind. Because that's actually the only distinction between the people who are achieving awesome things with their health and wellness and people who aren't. It's having your fit mind be really trained, really active and really strong, and letting your fat mind just go to sleep and take a snooze. That's a great distinction. I love that one. Um, it's, it reminded me of uh, how most Olympians 
uh, they say that there's a two to one ratio of two mindset coaches for every one physical coach yeah. in training. Right. So if you've got two physical coaches, you'll have four mindset coaches. Because um, you know when you're up at the level of Olympics, you do need a lot of um, coaching, yeah, support and yeah. around these things. So working your mindset is one of the biggest things when it comes to your body. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed completely. Starts and stops with that actually. Great. Hmm. Cool. So can you tell me a bit more about the Lean Mama system? Yes, I can. So the Lean Mama system is actually a five-step system. People often think it's just the nutrition and exercise, but that's actually the fourth step of the five. Right. So we were just talking about mindset and actually that's where it all starts. So the Lean Mama system addresses your lean mindset and makes sure that you're in the right space. You know, you know you've got your head in the game and you're ready to make the commitment um, to the process. Then we start with the Lean Beginnings, which is really defining the now, where you are now. And there's a series of measurements that we do there and um, some of them are physical, like you know, actually physically establishing where you are, but a lot of them are also contentment scores. So we have the Lean Mama contentment score, which gives you a score out of 100 on you know, how you feel in your body, how you feel centrally, how you feel in you know, the ability to influence your life positively. So that's a cool score that we keep track of. On the website, you can literally chart your success in that. And then, of course, the third step is your Lean Future, so that's about defining where you want to go. Um, but really crystallizing it. It's not just, I want to lose weight because that's an away from motivation as opposed to a, a towards motivation. So we get really clear on what you want, why you want it, what it looks like, and how ultimately that's going to affect every other area of your life that's important to you. And then the fourth step, which is the one that people think is the Lean Mama system, is our you know, building blocks, the A, B, C, and D of body transformation. So that has abdominals and alignment, you know, building muscle um, and Those boosting your metabolism. And, and, and the book are the exercises? They're the exercises. Specifically designed for? Specifically for designed. So the abdominals and alignment, you have to start there because you need to build the body from the inside out. Mm -hmm. You need to do the right exercises. The wrong exercises will take you further from your flat core. Building muscle is super critical and we talk about why that's the number one thing to boosting your metabolism and right. getting you lean. Cardio obviously is going to strip away the fat. We talk about you know the, the ways in which we can do that effectively for time as well because you know mums time is an issue and in fact mums aside everybody time is an issue these <laughs> days who's not busy and then you know diet is a huge thing seventy percent of your results come from diet so the ABC plus D building blocks of body transformation sits in step four so that's actioning it there's you know three phases. Um, and we basically step you through the phases of transforming your body from wherever it is to being completely strong, completely lean and very healthy. And then step five is the reviewing, rewarding and repeating because, you know, mums and people in general, we don't often acknowledge our transformation or our successes regardless of how big or small they may be. And we certainly don't reward ourselves enough, mums especially. You know, we kind of do a lot of things for a lot of other people, very self-sacrificing. And I think it's really important for mums to acknowledge their successes and then to reward it. And then the repeating is just, let's start again. Where are we going now? And the whole five steps, you know, repeats. Right, to further that reward set that you've got was that um, often we'll set a goal or something that we want to reach and we reach it but we forget that it was a goal and it doesn't feel like we are uh, bathed in the success yeah, of it. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, and it's um, very important to look back at what you've got, what you've been trying to do and reward yourself. And you give an example, you could give, a, give yourself a gift. You could say, I wanted to have a spa treatment yes. um, upon Gen yeah, Generally, this. we say not food as a, as a rule. Right, a not rule. food. Yeah. <laughs> not food as a rule. I'm going to McDonald's. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, just because it's counterintuitive. Sure. But I will say, I love the, that you're you know, really honing that because it's relevant for everyone aside from right. mums. And it was something that personally, I, I have to be honest, I really struggled with this. I was definitely the person who kept shifting the goalposts on herself. You know, mm -hmm. I remember even writing the book. When I was writing the book, it was like, when I finish this book, I'm going to buy myself a particular watch that I wanted. Mm -hmm. And of course, I finished the book, and then I'm like, well, now I need to publish it. So when it's published, I'll get the watch. The watch. And then yeah. it was like, well, once, you know, I, you know, and I kept moving the goalpost on myself. And I think also people who are kind of quite high achieving in that space often do that to themselves. It's almost like you keep moving the carrot. But you do need to acknowledge and reward yourself, and, and I now consciously make a choice to do that. Brilliant. Great. Right, so what would be three top tips that you would give uh, as takeaways for the people listening? Yeah, um, okay. So my three top tips would be, I mean, I could go on for days, but let's just pick three. <laughs> right. um, so if we were going to pick three, and this is, I suppose, relevant for everyone, but it was still within the Lean Mama system, I would say that on the physical level within your body, you really should start with your core. Um, obviously, as a master trainer in Pilates, um, I'm going to say that. But especially for mums, you know, if you don't progressively and appropriately start with the pelvic floor and the transverse abdominus, you know, the deep core muscles, um, then you're going to come unstuck later. 
you know, you can get a little bit ahead of the curve, but ultimately it's going to render the wrong results and it will affect, you know, injury and ability to enjoy exercise. So that's true for everyone. I would get a really solid foundations in the core. And then once you do that, functional exercise in every field is more enjoyable and certainly more achievable. So number one would be core. Mm -hmm. uh, number two would be, you know, um, I think it would be diet. I would be making sure that people eat appropriately because we are what we eat and we're so disconnected to that reality. Right. Um, people often think that they feel tired and sluggish because they had a bad night's sleep or you know, they're stressed out. And they may have had a bad night's sleep because of not eating the right food. Well, exactly. And truth be told, it probably is more of a result of the last 24 hours of what they've ingested and what's right. going through their systems. So um, I would definitely say diet. And then I would also say mindset. I would say get your head in the game. Have a look at your limiting beliefs. Have a look at where you want to go in life. Um, and, you know, step into owning the fact that all of the, all of the, you know, all of the power sits with you and sits with your choices. Brilliant. Fantastic. Cool. Great. And so, Marina, thanks for that. What's some great ways that people can connect with you um, onto your website and get in touch with Lean Mama? Our uh, website is generally, you know, probably the best way to check out our products, um, although I know there's a link on your website too for the book. There is. On the, go to thefourbalances.com. That's the number four, thefourbalances.com. And then click onto the Friends tab, and down there you'll see a list of books that I've um, suggested. On there you'll see Marina's book, Lean Mama. Click on that, and it'll take you through to some more information, and including a video. Alternatively, you know, if you're interested in franchising or you want to just discuss any different avenues, you can certainly connect with me at marina at leanmama.com.au or just the website, leanmama.com.au. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thanks, Logan. Goodbye.